हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति अग्रवाल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक दैट इज सिंथेटिक फाइबर एंड प्लास्टिक्स नाउ लेट अस टेक अ लुक ऑन द टॉपिक्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अंडर दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट वन इज द इंट्रोडक्शन बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट आर द सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स next will be the types of the synthetic fibers different types of the synthetic fibers they are characteristics under this we are going to discuss the different properties of the synthetic fibers then after that we will discuss about the plastics application of the plastics and then characteristics or the properties of the plastics and last and but not the least we will talk about the plastics and the environments it's useful and it's uh, how it is harmful for the environment how we are going to dispose the plastics so it doesn't harm our the environment now students let us introduce what are synthetic fibers in the previous classes you have already learned about the natural fibers the natural fibers which are occurring naturally which we are getting directly from the plants or the animals these are like cotton jute and the silk so these are the natural fibers for now what about the synthetic fibers the fibers which are not natural which are made by the human beings in the laboratories using the chemicals they are known as the synthetic fibers means they are not occurring naturally they are being created so they are called the synthetic fibers now here you can see the picture of a necklace this necklace is made of by joining the many pearls now in the synthetic fiber consider this one pearl as one unit and this one unit is known as the monomer this one unit is known as the monomer when this monomer is repeated again and again it forms like a chain that is known as the polymer so basically all the synthetic fiber which we get are the polymers and what we are doing we are repeating it one unit that is the monomer now as you can see also the word polymer is derived from the two greek words that is the poly which means many and the mers or the meros which means the part or the unit now students let us talk about the different types of the synthetic fibers the different types of the synthetic fibers are as follows rayon nylon polyester and acrylic now in the other slides we will talk about all the synthetic fibers separately now students let us talk about the different types of the synthetic fibers the different types of the synthetic fibers are as follows rayon nylon polyester and acrylic now in the other slides we will talk about all the synthetic fibers separately now students let us discuss and understand a particular type of synthetic fiber that is the rayon now what is rayon rayon is actually a artificial silk as we know that the natural silk is very much expensive and nobody and everybody can't afford it but rayon is a quite cheap although the rayon is a man made fiber but it is obtained from the some natural source that is it is obtained or it is prepared from the wood pulp and the wood pulp is a natural source this wood pulp is mixed with some chemicals and it is used to prepare the rayon basically rayon is nothing is a cheap silk and it looks like a silk but it is basically not a silk the basic application of the rayon it is used in making the carpets clothes and the bed sheets moving further we will discuss about the other synthetic fiber that is the nylon now students let us talk about the different types of the synthetic fibers the different types of the synthetic fibers are as follows rayon nylon polyester and acrylic now in the other slides we will talk about all the synthetic fibers separately now students 
we will discuss about the another type of the synthetic fiber that is the nylon basically nylon is used for the rock climbing it is strong it is even stronger than the steel wire Syn this is next thing it is a synthetic fiber that is made without using any natural raw materials but as we can see it is made from the coal water and air now these are considered to be as the natural materials but as these materials we have not obtained directly from the plants or from the animals so that's why we will consider the nylon as the synthetic fiber or the man made fiber next thing the nylon fiber is a strong elastic and they are light in weight they are lustrous and they are easily washable these nylon are used for making the socks curtains robes toothbrushes tents parachute and the car seat belts now students the other type of the synthetic fiber is the polyester polyester is the another type of the synthetic fiber or we can say the man made fiber the speciality of these types of the fibers are they do not wrinkle easily that means it remains the crisp and they are easily washable basically all are the all of the synthetic fibers are easily washable and they are very much used nowadays so these synthetic fibers are made our life very much easier so we prefer mostly today the synthetic fibers over the natural fibers now with the help of the polyester these type of the fibers are used in making the dress material just because of its speciality that is it doesn't wrinkle easily and it remains the crisp another thing you can mix the another types of the fibers to the polyesters like the polycot so polycot is the mix basically a mixture of the cotton and the polyester next is the polywool again it is the mixture of the wool and the polyester so with this help of these mixtures you can get the fabric and you can make the various types of the dress materials now the next is the terry lean it is another type it is a another popular polyester which can be drawn into very fine fibers and it can be woven into yarn so terry lean is also very useful and it is uh, it is these are the very fine fibers and it can be easily woven into the yarns and from that yarn the fabrics can be made now now the next thing is whenever your mother is buying any bottles you have seen the label it is written the pet p e t pet now basically what is pet pet is a very familiar form of the polyester now if we see what is the full form of the pet it is written here that is the polyethylene terephthalate now if you will see just look just have a look on the bottles which your mother brought it is written pet so pet it is a used for making the bottles utensils wires and many other useful products we can make from the pet now here we are going to discuss about the acrylic now what is acrylic acrylic is nothing but it is a cheaper version of the wool although it is not a real wool acrylic is basically used in the sweaters shawls and the blankets which we used in the winters as we know that the wool obtained from the natural sources are very expensive so that's why we have made an alternative that is known as the acrylic wool or we known as the artificial wool but it is not a wool it is just like the rayon rayon which is considered as the artificial silk same way acrylic is also known as the artificial wool this artificial wool is obtained from the synthetic fiber called the acrylic we treat it with some of the chemicals and some of the wool is mixed and the acrylic wool is made so now acrylic it is nothing but it is a cheaper version or we can say the other version of the 
wool it appears resemblance to the wool now here we are going to discuss about the acrylic now what is acrylic acrylic is nothing but it is a cheaper version of the wool although it is not a real wool acrylic is basically used in the sweaters shawls and the blankets which we used in the winters as we know that the wool obtained from the natural sources are very expensive so that's why we have made an alternative that is known as the acrylic wool or we known as the artificial wool but it is not a wool it is just like the rayon rayon which is considered as the artificial silk same way acrylic is also known as the artificial wool this artificial wool is obtained from the synthetic fiber called the acrylic we treat it with some of the chemicals and some of the wool it is mixed and the acrylic wool is made so now acrylic it is nothing but it is a cheaper version or we can say the other version of the wool it appears resemblance to the wool now students moving further let us discuss about the various properties of the synthetic fiber the first very property of the synthetic fiber is they is that they are the cheap in the previous slides we have already learned that the silk is expensive but its alternative that is rayon is very cheap wool is expensive but its alternative that is acrylic it is very cheap they are very durable that means it can resist for a long period of the time they are very easy to wash and they are available in variety of colors as mean that means you can have them in the various forms of the colors also now moving further whenever there is anything on this earth which comes with the advantages they have the disadvantages also so now there are some of the disadvantages of the synthetic fiber what are they that they catches fire easily and if you heat them it will melt so that's why it is advisable not to wear any synthetic fiber when you are cooking or when you are near to the fire now students so far we have discussed about the synthetic fiber its properties and its various types of the synthetic fiber now moving on we will discuss about the plastics now the plastic is a things which we which you see in everyday life around you whether it is the basic form of the uh, toys or your chair made of the plastics the buckets the Uh, the jug and anything the bottles of course so these all are the made up of the plastics now basically what are the plastics plastics are also considered as a monomer just like the synthetic fiber where there is one monomer which is being continuously repeated now as you can see the plastic around and we are using it constantly in our daily life why so because they are easily moldable you can give them any shape or size and they are quite handy so it is just because of these properties of the plastics which made it very useful and it is made very easily available to us now there is a type of the plastics which when you heat or continuously you heat it is easily deformed and bend easily or it can change into any shape so now basically this type of the plastics is known as the thermoplastics we can say they are very flexible they can be easily molded they can be easily deformed into any shape or the size as you can see in the table here is a some examples of the thermoplastics uh, like uh, polythene bags it is polythene bags are there plastic bottles are there and any other useful things are there now the other type of the plastic is the thermosetting plastic
Now what basically a thermosetting plastic is? These are the plastics which when molded once it cannot be softened or demolded or deformed into any other shape when they are being heated. So they are called the thermosetting plastics. Now under this thermosetting plastic there are main two types as you can see in the table that is the bakelite and the melamine. Basically bakelite is used for making the electrical switches and the handles of the or uh, frying pan or your tawa. Why so? Because they are the very poor conductor of heat and electricity. So that's why the switches uh, which you use in your houses to switch on the fans or the light those switches are made up of the bakelite because they are the poor conductor of electricity and they cannot catches the fire easily it ca they, ca they will not be melted when there will be the short circuit so that's why these switches are made up of the bakelite now the other important thing is the melamine Melamine, they are very versatile material and they can resist the fire easily. It tolerates the heat better than any other plastics. So you will see that many of the plates or the floor tilings are made from the melamine. Now moving on, we will discuss about the properties of the plastics. Now what are the positive aspects of the plastics? That they are very light in weight. They are not very heavy, they are durable, it can stay long and it is very durable. They are cheaper, they are lower in price, they are non-reactive. That means they cannot be reactive to anything easily and uh, basically they are the non-reactive. They are poor conductor of heat and electricity. That's I told, that is what I told you in the last slide. Uh, our uh, electrical switches are made up of the plastics only that is the bakelite just because of it it is the poor conductor of heat and electricity now what are the negative aspects of the plastic they are non biodegradable that means it can stays on the un on the earth for long for the long period of time it cannot be easily degrade now the other negative aspect it causes the pollution now moving on with the plastic pollution what are the basic causes of the pollution we burn the plastics it takes the several years to decompose and we are keep on throwing the plastics into the water bodies thus we are causing the pollution now how we can prevent the plastic pollution just by following the 5R principle. Now what is the 5R principle? As you can see in the picture it is reduce. We have to reduce the uses of the plastic. Reuse. We have to then we have the recycle. Then after that we have the recover or we can say repair. And the last and the least refuse or reject the use of the plastics so that's why we can use the cotton bags instead of the uh, plastic bags in the market so we should say um, we should avoid the uses of the plastic we should say no to the plastics more and more thank you student that's all for the this chapter i hope your queries will be done